Biomes and Ecosystems A biome is a very large ecological area which forms naturally and is known for the species that live there. Animals and plants with similar characteristics live and interact with one another in the various biomes that cover the Earth's surface. Earth biomes are made up of groups based on their climate, physical features, and the plants and animals that live in that biome. The biomes all merge together to form a giant community of all living and non-living things. Some biomes are warm and some are cold. Some are on land and others are in water. Let's take a look at five different biomes. Desert. This biome is hot and dry. It covers about one-fifth of Earth's surface. The soil is sandy, rocky, or gravelly. Some deserts are cooler than others. If a desert is semi-arid, that means it gets slightly more rain than an arid desert, which gets little to no rain at all. The soil for growing things in an arid desert is very poor, so there isn't a lot of plant life. The animals that live there might burrow to avoid heat and come out at night when it's cooler. Two famous deserts are the Sahara Desert, which is located in North Africa and is well known for being very hot during the day and very cold at night, and the Great Basin Desert, located in the United States. Death Valley, which is the lowest point in North America, is part of this desert. Grassland A grassland is a big open area that is covered in grass. There are two main types of grasslands on Earth, tropical and temperate. Tropical grasslands are sometimes called savannas. They are found in parts of Africa and Asia. The soil there is thin and includes large mammals like lions and giraffes. Temperate grasslands are mostly made up of grass, with few trees and shrubs. They receive more rain than tropical grasslands. The temperatures in temperate grasslands are high in summer and freezing in winter. Prairies are part of temperate grasslands. Forest This biome has many trees. Forests cover 30% of Earth's surface. They are important for climate control because they absorb some of the carbon dioxide in our air. Too much carbon dioxide causes Earth's temperature to rise. Millions of organisms live in the forest, from plants and animals to fungi and bacteria. There are different types of forests. Tropical rainforests, like the Amazon, temperate forests, which have trees that lose their leaves, and boreal forests, which are found in cold climates. Aquatic biomes are found in water. This is the largest of all biomes because 70% of Earth is covered in water. Millions of plants and animals live in aquatic biomes. These biomes exist in freshwater and saltwater. Tundra is a large, flat, treeless area. It includes the Arctic, which is located around the North Pole, where the subsoil is always frozen. An alpine, which is on top of mountains, is extremely cold and gets very little rain. This biome covers one-fifth of Earth's surface and has few plants, but some animals. Now that you know what a biome is, let's talk about ecosystems. Some people might think biomes and ecosystems are the same thing, but they aren't. An ecosystem is actually just one part of a biome. In fact, there can be millions of different ecosystems on a single biome. Ecosystems can exist almost anywhere, from underneath a rock to an entire forest. Even a small pond is an ecosystem. A pond includes water, light, and energy from the sun. Frogs, fish, snails, algae, microorganisms, and much more live there. In an ecosystem, every living thing and non-living thing has a role to play. Their interaction is necessary for survival. In ecosystems, things are organized in different levels, starting with tiny molecules. Those molecules then make up various cells. Thousands of those cells make up tissues. And tissues make up organs, like your heart, kidneys, and lungs. All your organs together make an organ system. And that organ system make an organism. You are an organism. 
Organisms are single species that are related genetically and can breed to have babies. Living organisms breed or make babies of the same species. Humans breed with other humans. Rabbits breed with other rabbits. And monkeys with monkeys. A group of organisms that are the same species and live in the same area and interact together is called a population. When populations of different species live in the same area and interact together, that is called a community. Unlike population, where just one species interacts together, in a community, many different species live and interact with one another. For example, a rabbit might live with squirrels, raccoons, birds, mice, and humans. When all things interact with each other, as well as with non-living things, we call that an ecosystem. For example, humans rely on other humans, but they also rely on the sun. Many birds rely on living things like worms and trees for food and shelter, but they also rely on air, which is not living. Your home is like an ecosystem. You live with other living things such as parents, brothers or sisters, maybe a pet, a garden, and of course pesky flies or other organisms. Your home also includes non-living things like heat, water, the house itself, and more. But all living things and non-living things depend on each other for survival. There are three cycles that exist in ecosystems. The first is the water cycle. There is a continuous movement of water between the Earth's surface and the air. Liquid is changed to a gas when it evaporates. And then that gas is changed back to a liquid through condensation. When water falls from the atmosphere as rain, snow, sleet, or hail, it is precipitation. The second cycle is the carbon cycle. This is the continuous exchange of carbon among living things. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air. It is then combined with water to make sugars and other chemicals. The carbon-rich chemicals are eaten and then recycled back into the atmosphere. After millions of years have passed, the carbon trapped in dead materials becomes fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are natural fuels like coal or gas. The third cycle is called the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen forms about 78% of the air. Plants do not use nitrogen directly from the air. Nitrogen must be converted into different chemical forms that plants and animals can use. The nitrogen cycle is when nitrogen moves from our atmosphere to the earth, through the soils, and back to the atmosphere again. Plants and animals cannot live without nitrogen. Nitrogen is in the soil, in the air we breathe, and the water we drink. All three cycles are important parts of an ecosystem. An ecosystem may exist in a simple tree trunk. Moisture can result in the trunk's decay. Tiny green plants like moss will begin to grow there. That moss then becomes food for insects. Animals like frogs or birds will then eat those insects. A frog may then become a meal for a snake living in or near the trunk. All living organisms in an ecosystem depend on each other for survival. When there are changes in an ecosystem, it can cause problems for one or more of the living organisms that are part of it. For example, if there is a fire in that tree and the trunk burns, then the moss and the insects die, which means there is no food for the frog, and it may die as well. And the snake will have to go somewhere else to find food. If a living organism cannot adapt to changes in an ecosystem, the species may die out and become extinct. Humans also affect our ecosystems through pollution, construction, and deforestation. There are many different ecosystems that exist on various biomes on our Earth. The different biomes merge together to create our biosphere. Biosphere is the top crust which covers our Earth where we all live. The biosphere includes all life forms as well as dead organisms. Every living organism has a role to play in an ecosystem. Each type of ecosystem in the biomes also play an important part in the well-being of the earth. Each biome provides water or food. They also enrich the air with oxygen, 
as well as absorb carbon dioxide and pollution from the air. Ecosystems and biomes are essential for all life, from the smallest single-celled microbe to a giant blue whale. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.